Mitch McConnell says he's stepping down as GOP leader, but he's not leaving the U.S. Senate. No, he's staying to fight. But fight who? But I'm not leaving the Senate, and I'm particularly involved in actually fighting back against the isolationist movement in my own party, and some in the other as well. Isolationist? What could he mean? And the symbol of that lately is, are we going to help Ukraine or not? Oh, so you're an isolationist if you don't want to send billions more to a foreign country you've already spent over a hundred billion on. Isolationism. To fuel an American proxy war with a country with nukes in which over 71,000 Ukrainian soldiers have already died and over 21,000 innocent civilians have died. We've seen isolationism in both parties. In a war where some American military officials say that it's probably impossible for Ukraine to win. Even if we give everything we need to give or want to get to Ukraine, it still won't lead to success. And in a war where most polls now overwhelmingly show that most Americans no longer want anything to do with. Are most Americans isolationists? Or is that just an absolutely absurd way to describe how most common sense Americans now feel about this war? Isolationists. If you, oh, I don't know, don't do donuts on your neighbor's front lawn, are you an isolationist for not doing that? Most people would see that and think that it's bad. Only Washington politicians can look at the misery and destruction caused by American foreign policy all over the world, from the Iraq war to spending money on this war in Ukraine to writing a blank check to Israel so they can do whatever they want. These are not good things. Normal people do not want more of it. Isolationism. The only isolation going on is Mitch McConnell from sanity and the overwhelming sentiment of his fellow Americans. Isolationists. You're not helping Ukraine in the slightest. You're hurting them. And you're not helping your own country either.